De blivit underhållna av ett engelskt band som heter Hurts. Och det här är ett väldigt hypat band. Det säger jag för att de har inte släppt sin debut. All... Det har inte kommit ut. Jag håller i det, men det är i dagarna kommer det ut här i Sverige i alla fall. Hurts, två killar från Manchester. Adam and Theo. Theo and Adam. Yeah. Theo and Adam. Theo and Adam, that was right. So what hurts? That's the name of your group. Mm. How come? Well, there's a long story and a short story. Okay, take the short one. It looks cool. <laughs> Sounds good. It's like 16 months ago, your life was very different from today when you're on live TV in Europe and you're a very popular group. Yeah. Tell mm. me. We were unemployed for three years of our life when we started making music together. So um, it's been quite a journey from there to breakfast television in Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a diffi it's difficult. I mean, it was important because we had to try and learn and we spent a lot of time writing music and stuff like that. But it's, um, yeah, and it gets really difficult. But it means that now, every day we're excited, every day we're, we kind of, we work, still work as hard. And yeah, it's a, a big thing to happen in a year. Really. And you remember being poor and unemployed. Tried to forget. Yeah, <laughs> we but, tried to forget. But I'm, I'm, we were talking about your clothes, your really fancy clothes. Mm. Is that um, like to remember? Yeah, well, because we, we started to dress like this when we when we had no money. Because when you uh, when you've got nothing, you, you kind of you don't really have much pride. So to dress smart makes you feel better. Oh, that's smart. Jag ska också mm. översätta. Jag vill tala om att de här killarna var alltså arbetslösa i flera år tills allt vände. Och uh, the, the big success came through the internet, I understand. Mm. Yeah. What happened? Well, we were lucky because we made a video, a very cheap video. Mm. And um, instead of playing shows and promoting ourselves like that, we just put this video on the internet. And that really kind of... That was what got people interested in us. Yeah, a video we made in a room which had a puddle of water in the corner. And it no was windows. All pieces. Are you kidding? And no. that changed your life. Yeah, and it was an insight, and the world managed to see this uh, this tiny room, and it went from there. And it's it's been a great thing because it's meant that people all over the world seem to have uh, taken the music to heart, and it's mm. really it was fascinating for us to be from a, such a small place, and we never imagined. We kind of wrote the songs to try and escape. We wrote them as a way of leaving Manchester and, and, and leaving the life we didn't like. And it's amazing we're like, what, a year later? And uh, no, you're we're here. in Sweden. But uh, <laughs> let's talk about your collaboration with Kylie Minogue, the pop princess yeah, of the world. the pop princess. And you have a strong relation to her well, as well. Tell me everything. Funnily, it's really strange, actually, because I kind of wish there was a fairy tale story, but we, we'd finished the album, all done, and... We, can't, we were desperate to have a girl singing on it. And we thought, oh, we'll get someone like Kylie because of her voice. And, and she was your big... Uh, we've mean, always I loved her, yeah. Well, she's been there ever since... She released her first single the year I was born. So mm -hmm. she's been there all my life. So mm -hmm. it's, um, but then one day we just thought, why don't we ask... Instead of asking someone who's like Kylie, just ask her. Oh, but how did you do it? We wrote her a letter and just said, Dear Kylie, like a love letter, and wrote... <laughs> a love letter? Yeah, please... Uh, Would you like to sing an oh, I have to translate. I have to translate. Jo, vi talar nu om Kylie Minogue, eh, popprinsessan, eh, som har varit de här killarnas stora idol sedan de var små. Och de ville ha en tjejröst på, på sin låt så att de skrev ett brev till henne, ett kärleksbrev. And, and uh, what did she answer? <coughs> well, we waited and there was nothing for a few weeks and then... So we you had of, given up? Yeah. And then she <laughs> got back and said, I'd love to do it, I love the song and let's kind of... Let's do it. So it just went from then. It was... As unbelievable as it sounds. But what um, what has her uh, participation on your album meant to your career? Do you think it's been great for us? But it was amazing to hear Kylie Minogue's voice because she's a, a, a pop princess in England on a, a song that's a hurt song. It's very emotional, atmospheric. So to put her on to one of our songs has been uh, amazing. Mm, yeah, Do you think you will perform with her? We might have to write her another love letter, <laughs> might we? <laughs> But knows? have you met her? Yeah, we met. We sung it together. Yo, so you see, yeah, you were we in the studio together. together. And, uh, but yeah, and she's, we stay in contact and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, who knows? But we might have to, we might have to write her a letter. Mm -hmm. uh, I must ask you, uh, finally, what is your definition of happiness since your debut album is called Happiness? Well, you don't look that happy <laughs> on the pictures. Well, so. funnily enough, we, the, the interesting thing for us is that the album, we called it that because 
all of the songs are about trying to be happy and trying to find happiness, yeah. which is often quite sad. A lot of people spend their life trying to be happy. And for us, it was, we started the band when we were, we were very no. unhappy yeah. and we were very insecure. But your goal was to be yeah, happy. Yeah, to be happy. And then when we finished it, we were going around the world and uh, everything like that. So it was a great end to go from nothing to... We started off hurt and we ended up happy. I think your, your story is a real success story. Yeah, and I'm so glad you're here and we're going to hear your last song now. Yeah. Thank you så mycket. No problem. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much. Tusen tack. Ja, eh, jag vill också säga att ni får för all del inte missa nyhetsmorgon måndag i imorgon då vi kommer ha fullt av spännande spännande ämnen och och sen har vi då, jo jag kan berätta också att vi har psykiatern Per Olof Fedin och en psykolog som ska berätta vad som händer i kroppen när man sitter flera månader i ett litet utrymme utan ljus och luft apropå gruvkatastrofen. Och sen nästa söndag då kommer Mona Salin hit och hon tar med sig en hemlig gäst och sen så kommer även Peter Göback då. Men nu ska vi avsluta den här morgonen med Hurts och låten Love. Better than love. Tusen tack för idag.